What's up you guys, it's Apex Boom, welcome back to another video. Today's video is going to be a task setup for the Yeezy Boost 500 Bone White using EVE AIO. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Alright, so if you're using EVE AIO and you want to come over here to your add task, we're going to be going over Yeezy Supply first. So of course you come and put in whatever name you're going to put in. I just say, I'll say hi like that and then you come over to your building profiles and select whatever profile if you have a profile group you can use that uh, for example like if you have one for Yeezys or for anything at all just put that in like that and then choose your proxy list that you want to use boom like that you can use the checkout proxy list but it's not required at all you can use that if you want to check out on a specific list or just a specific proxy if you want to but I don't really too much mess with that um, you want to come here to your predefined website then you want to go to Easy supply. Login is not required. If you do have a shipping price available though, please be, please make sure to have that already plugged in to decrease your time of it. If you do already have a shipping price already uploaded into the bot, please make sure to have that installed if you wanted to. So we're gonna go over to task type. Now we're not using direct links. If you have an early link more close to the drop from your cook group via then go ahead and use that, that's perfectly fine. But you wanna come over here to keywords and put in the keywords. So with positive keywords, you can put in Yeezy, 500 bone white for the first one, then Yeezy, 500 bone, then Yeezy, 500, just like that if you want to. And the, the cool thing I love about Eve is that you can put in three, these three different combination of keywords and they'll all if one doesn't pick up it'll go to the next and if that one doesn't pick up it'll go to the next so it'll just keep on cycling through like that you don't have to have a whole buttload of tasks running just with different keywords you can just use literally have a a whole slew of keyword groups and it'll pick up whichever one is the lucky winner for it, whatever shoe is dropping which in this case is the easy 500 bone, bone white excuse me all right so for negative keywords as you guys will already know I'm gonna do F and F for friends and family, kid, what the heck, kids, infants. All right, so of course you know the usual kids, if it's um, GS. You guys know the usual suspects. Um, since this is a 500 model, I mean, if you want, you can put in, I guess, what, blush, which I'm pretty sure it won't hurt, but it doesn't hurt to have it in there. So we'll have blush, black, and this is only optional. These are only optional. So if you have negative uh, master keywords, you can go ahead and plug those in if you want to. That is located in the settings part of Eve. Of course, have last 25 products only have that marked on. All right. So for checkout, you can go ahead and use a credit card. That would be the fastest way, in my opinion. The very, 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 very fastest way. Then you want to come over here to legacy for the mode. First off, now as I always say, like use every single last word word use every single last like mode that you have because you never know which one could, cake, could take home the, the cake for this drop you do not know which one could take home the cake for this drop so please make sure to use every single last mode available to your disposal because it can help you in the long run if everyone else is cooking and you're like what's going on why is nothing working i thought i had this set up and blah 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 but then you realize oh crap that's right i only use two modes out of the five that were available to me so please be sure to take advantage of everything that you have. It's meant to help, not hurt. So for me personally, I love, I love to use every single last mode available to me. So of course, have force capture on because Easy Supply has capture. Have that on, and then we're gonna go over, go over here to the general tab. So now for the general tab, if you already have um, a size picked in your profile, profile-based sizing, you don't have to worry about this, but if you don't, you just come over here to boom right there and then put in whatever size you want so for example if you want a size four and a half put in the four and a half oops number lock off on we can put in the four and a half if you want a five you can put in the five if you want a seven you can put in the seven something like that and then you can also come over here to exclude so if you want to exclude for example like 11 12 13 whatever size you want to exclude you can also do that as well but typically I use profile based sizing but if I'm not, if I'm choosing a size to include, I'll also have on pick random if not available. So for example, hypothetically, if a four and a half isn't available, it'll pick some random size. 
All right, so for the minimum and maximum price, I believe that the blushes are $220. So I would do a minimum of 210 and a maximum of 225 for this release right here for the price check. Don't quote me on that. I believe it's $220. I have to look and see. And if it's a different price, I will put it right here. So for the retry delay, now here is one thing. Another thing I love about Eve is the fact that you can have your delays in interval increments. So if you want, hypothetically, a delay set from 1,000 to 1,800, you can do that. You can do that for this amount of task and have that set. So like I said before, I love to use different delays. So I always love to have a few different sets. So I have one set at 1,000 and 1,800, and I have another at 2,000 to 2,800, and then the last one at 3,000 to 4,000. And that's just one thing I love to do. I think it helps just to have different options just in case one doesn't work. And I think my voice is cracked. I'm not entirely sure, but it really, I think my voice is cracked. <laughs> But next, you want to come over here to Advanced. There's not really too much here to mess with unless you have dies off, two caps, any caps, none of that stuff is really, um, is really necessarily important. Right off the bat, it's not really necessary. Now, for capture requests, you can set this to nine, ten, eleven, whatever you want to. This is it's the sole purpose of this is so. For example, if the product picks up, if you want this task to to have capture first, then that task will have to capture before all other tasks. It's just as simple as it works. All right, now that we've got that all squared away, we want to come back to platform, come to our legacy mode. We have that click, force capture is on, then we'll do save. So when we do save, you see all of the tasks will now pop up. And you're wondering, why is it eight tasks? Well, you remember for my billing profile, I had a billing profile of eight profiles. So that's automatically already added. There's no extra work to be done. It's already set. All right, so next we want to come over to API. Use that human mode. Yes, save. Manual mode, keep it looping, keep it looping. If you don't, it'll just stop one time and that's it. It's a one and done type of situation. So make sure that's continuously looping. Manual, boom. Then we have browser mode. Browser mode, all of these are crucial because you never know what could take home the cake. So please make sure to use everything to your disposal. It can only help, not hurt at all. Now let's head over on to Capture. Now for Capture, all you simply have to do is come over to your Capture Solver, go to Browser, come over to YouTube or whatever else you're going to use, and simply watch videos. I strongly recommend that you start watching videos, I'd say, a night before the drop if you want to get a, a solid amount of capture if you wait five minutes before the drop decided to, to try to generate capture it's not gonna work it's you're gonna have a tough time with capture so I strongly recommend that you start generating capture at least at very least and uh -huh, there goes my video huh I strongly recommend that you start generating capture at least a night before the official release and that's just my that's just my take on it. And you can put on a 10, 12, 24 hour video, whatever floats your boat, whatever you want to do, that's completely fine. Then once that's done, once that's done, you just let that run in the background and that's it, boom. But yeah, you guys, that is for Yeezy Supply right there. That is for Yeezy Supply. So let me delete all these. To delete these, just right click on your mouse, then come over to select all and then delete. Now, when you're going for regular Shopify, now let's say hypothetically for Kith right now. My last one was high, so this one would be high, like that. I'm gonna use the same billing profiles that I use, the billing profile group. I'm gonna use a random set of proxies. For the predefined website, starting with Kith. As you guys should already know, I hope you do, keywords don't work at Kith at all. They do not work at all. So it is in your best bet to have early link supply from your cut group. If you guys want to join the Dynamics Collective, we will be restocking sometime. I don't know. But follow us on Twitter at the Dynamic Seed to find out when. Sorry, I just had to plug. <laughs> had to plug in real quick. But yeah, um, like I was saying though, you want to get it from 
your uh you want to get the early link from your cook group <clears throat> the dynamics collective but anyways you want to get that and then you would copy and paste it here and if you want to do keywords you could but nothing's going to pick up so direct link is your best option for kit now if you want to head to a different site let's say like where is dsmm you guys should know quite a few Shop shopify sites are going to be uh bleh, can i talk a lot of these shopify sites are going to be dropping these shoes so it is in your best bet to run as many of them as you can to increase your chances of copying multiple pair. All right, so now we're at DSM right now. Of course, you guys know the drill for positive keywords. We have Yeezy 500, Bone, White, Yeezy 500, Bone. Then we just have Yeezy 500, what the heck? And then we just have Yeezy and Yeezy. Yeezy 500 and for negatives of course you guys know minus infants minus kids minus friends and family minus GS minus PS minus blush minus black do whatever keywords you want to use these are only suggestions these are not required these are not what you have to use use whatever you're comfortable with if these aren't good enough for you modify them make them work for you okay 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 so now let's go down to your mode select legacy first and let's head on over to general so for general you guys know dsm kit those are the main main sites when it comes to anti-bot protection so you really want to make your activity look very very human like if you're using a bot that hasn't quite figured out anti-bot protection yet like code or cyber or another bot that possibly has so it's always in your best to have the slightly higher intervals. Uh, let's say for like interval between 2,000 and 5,000 would be fine. Or even uh, 1,500 and 5,000. Or even to go as high as 6,000. Maybe pushing it a little bit. But if you, if, if you really want to try to look as human as possible, high delay is always better. Anything above, anything below 1,000 will get you, your proxies throttled and you're out the game. Simple as that. Low delays aren't there. They aren't a thing no more. Those are a no go. Those those you can't you can't do that no more. That's a big no no. At least for right now, and it's in Shopify's current state, that's not something you can really do. But um, yeah, you guys, this was the task setup. Of course, you guys know with site with excuse me with sites are gonna be dropping. Of course, you wanna come up to your, your modes, pick every single last mode, have force capture on, API, boom, human. Boom. Did, it, did I do it? Uh, no, I didn't. API. I mean, human. Boom. What the heck? Manual. Keep it looping. Keep it looping. Boom. Then browser. Boom. Now, as you guys may know, like I said before, make sure that you're running every single last site. So a few sites that will be dropping or could drop. That may not be the may not may not be confirmed. But as you guys, of course, you guys know the usual suspects. Kith undefeated. DSM will be dropping but you could have atmos new york you could also have bodega that could be dropping where is it that bodega wow bodega that could be dropping we have concepts that could be dropping we have extra butter feature um hand and shop hand and shop haven shop uh, juice store, lapstone and hammer, likelihood, uh, no tray, NM, what the heck, NM, NRML, let's see, oneness, Packer shoes, St. Alfred, of course, uh, RSVP gallery, shoe gallery in Miami, shop nice kicks could as well, um, the Dark Initiative, Trophy Room Store, Undefeated, of course, and of course, Easy Supply, and Wish Atlanta, but I strongly doubt that those will drop. But yeah, you guys, those are quite a few of the sites that could drop. Of course, we have your usual suspects that will, like I said before, Undefeated, Kith, DSM, but you also have plenty of more that could also be dropping. I would suggest you guys run all of these sites to increase the chances of dropping. If your good groups have early links or anything loaded for you to use at your disposal, please take advantage of those. If you don't have a good group, like I said, follow 
the Dynamics Collective on Twitter at the Dynamic C to stay notified when we restock. If you want to join that bag, you can just DM me at apexboom underscore and that will get you hooked on up. But besides that, this concludes this tax setup for the Yeezy 500 Bone Whites. I wish you guys the best of luck this Saturday. I hope to see everyone cooking. I hope to see a lot of success. I'll see you guys this Saturday with the Live Cup Overview. Deuces.